Dropping into a browser base. See Paul. Hey, I'm looking for Paul. You know where I find him? Here, here. We can check the badge in really quick. Do you want a hat? Uh, oh my god, here. absolutely. Throw this bad boy on for me. Merch, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the office. A quick overview on browser base and, and what you guys do. Well, we're not just a giant sign company. We actually help AI navigate the web. So we power web browser capabilities for AI agents and applications. Imagine you're building some sort of new AI tool. And that AI tool has some knowledge in the model, right? It knows what's going on in the time it was trained, but it has to go out and actually learn about something new. Like it has to go pull a sales record or it has to go download an invoice. That's to interact with the internet where all of our information is. How does it do that? It needs some sort of tool. And we're building that browser tool for AI. And it starts with an infrastructure product. Browsers is a service running in the cloud. But then we also have an open source framework called StageHand, which is very popular. It allows the developers to interact and program in browser capabilities. Well, the director team right here just launched today. So they're hard at work. We're number one on product time, right? now. I think these guys are up to like 2 a.m. last night. So oh, we'll, we'll let them be. So this new product allows you to take a prompt and then turn that into a repeatable web automation workflow. It really makes it easy for anybody to automate things on the web because in 2025, everyone's a developer. So you need better tools for them. We get so many people who come into browser base and they ask us like, hey, like I'm a dentist and I want to automate some back office practice. And I have AI tools. Like how can I actually like integrate this? So we built a director for those people. These AI curious folks who are using code gen, who are using these tools to make it much easier easier to do their jobs. And this is really like a tool for the builders who want to automate things easier. Is this where you go and you push a bad PR? Yeah, this is jail. <laughs> what does product market fit feel like? How do you know when you have it? I really follow the first round philosophy of there's levels of product market fit. You know, level one, that there's word of mouth growing and bringing your business. Level two, you need to hire a full sales team because you can't keep up with the amount. Level three is you need to expand you know, internationally because you have such a large amount of customers internationally. I think there's like, there's several iterations of what product market fit is like. And for a lot of founders, they try and like say, this is product market fit and this isn't product market fit. So for us, we've really focused on like, is our business growing at a rate that outsizes our current capacity? And if so, how do we double down and invest more? Welcome <laughs> to my desk. Why did you join? Where did you come from? I came from a little company called Vercel. Finding a company that was like, still developer focused, still infrastructure focused, but a little smaller, a little more startup-y kind of fun. And I wanted like some AI motions. So that's kind of why browser base was interesting at first. I did completely write it off when I talked to Paul because he said we have to be in person in San Francisco and I was living in New York. So I was like, ah, oh, it's not going to work out. But I ended up having a few more calls with him and I was like, oh my God, I might consider actually moving to San Francisco for this place. And I did. All right, please stop bothering my team. You got to get out of here. <laughs> I'm kicking you out. Time to go. 